Bob Burnett was one of the Southern Response claimants. He hasn't been able to live in his dream Huntsbury home since the decision to remove jib board and not replace it with bracing weakened the structure of his home, causing it to bend out of shape. Bob maintains his insurer did more damage to his home than the earthquake itself. It's now likely to be a rebuild all these years on. He told me a short time ago how he was feeling about the settlement. I'm feeling quite... Um hopefully sort of mildly optimistic and um you know it's been i don't know if you remember talking to me two years ago yeah, I do. Yeah, we were just discussing it yeah. up at my house and um we had that day we had megan woods and we had um andrew little up at my house and um i was interviewed by you and then there was the the tv people too but um it seems like an awful long time ago and it, it feels to me that um this is a milestone but also, you know, it still might be two or three years before I'm back in my house, so it'll be a 10-year thing. Um, and um, had I known after the earthquakes that it would be 10 years before I get my house back, uh, I would have been dismayed and, and I probably would have tried to do something myself and repair the house without worrying about the insurance company. So, um, but yeah, I think uh, it's good to... Get Southern Response out of the picture, hopefully, and deal with people that are actually normal human beings that um, are going to help us get our house back. You know, at the end of the day, um, the insurance company were the people that we that were supposed to help us in our time of need, and and they've actually um, stopped us from getting our house back. You said. Yeah. You felt optimism. Uh, it seems uh, a somewhat qualified optimism because, as you say, there is still a process to go through and you still don't know yet what your settlement will be. But I wonder when you last felt even qualified optimism. How long has it been? Um, it's been quite mind-numbing, really, the whole thing. And um, I've, you know, I, I've... I don't know what I could have done differently when you look back at it. Um, and, you know, you always think there's people worse off than you. There's people that have lost their lives and, and things like that. There's definitely been winners and losers in the earthquake situation. And um, we've been one of the losers. But, um, you know, I just look back and think what could have been. And, um, you know, my children, they're now seven and ten that they, you know, we had a two-month-old baby and a three-year-old, and they've had a different life. They should have grown up in the nice, um, warm, healthy, comfortable house up on the top of the hill that we'd planned for them to live in. But instead, we've been bouncing around mouldy, substandard rentals, and that's just the life they've had. And frankly, you know, I don't, I don't get very emotional, but that upsets me. I think, you know because of these people, because of the earthquake and because of how we've been mistreated, they haven't been able to enjoy the life that we intended them to. And if we go back to your position as an AMI client, it was the life you thought you had ensured to protect, right? That is the thing I sense from Southern Response clients has been the most upsetting and the most galling. You had an insurance policy and it became impossible for you to collect on it. Yeah, you, you look at the um, legality of it and the sort of, um, you know, technically what they should have done. But then you sort of think about, well, can human beings be so callous and mistreat people so poorly because of money? And... You know, um, like I said, these these are the people that should have been there to help us. You know, they would say that it's been an extraordinary event. And, but you have insurance for extraordinary events. You wouldn't have insurance unless there was extraordinary events. Bob Burnett talking to us earlier. One of the claimants will be back in Christchurch later in the programme.